autopilot. What is it and how does it work? That is going to be the question of the day today as we take a look at how this feature performs both on back roads and on the highway. And really my main goal today is just to take a look and see how confident I am in the car being able to make good decisions while we're out on the road. We're going to test some areas where there's uh, very sharp curves as well as some construction going on. So we'll see how the car handles and how it reacts to different situations that we throw at it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn autopilot on. Our speed is set for 35 miles an hour. And you do have to keep your hand on the steering wheel. We have some cars up ahead, a little bit of a steep slowdown there. You can see on the display down below that the blue lines are the visualization that the car is seeing, that it's viewing through its cameras. This is gonna be our first major test ahead. There's a very sharp curve to the right coming up. All right, so it slowed down a lot, but it did take the turn. We didn't cross over the L line at all. So the way autopilot works is it's utilizing radar as well as sonic sensors, which are mounted around the car, in addition to cameras. So there's a front facing camera. There's cameras on both pillars looking forward. There's cameras above the wheel wells looking backwards, and then there is a rear camera looking out the tail of the car. So the display here is essentially giving you a readout of what the car is seeing. This car does have hardware 3.0, so you will see the garbage can, cone, and stop sign visualizations popping up on the screen here. This car up ahead is going a little bit slower than 35, so we are gonna approach it here adjust my following distance just so we back off a little bit. So I have it set now to five car lengths. All right, so this guy is making a turn. Car's slowing down, not really sure what's going on. He's off the road, so we are going to proceed. That was very nice, very gentle slowdown. This is a sharp turn right here, so we'll see how the car does. Not too bad. Took it a little bit quick, but did slow down at the end. We're in a downhill slope right now, so just to give you some ideas what this information on the screen here means. As you see this bar fluctuating, here it is telling me to put my hand back on the wheel. That bar in the top above the max speed limit there is just telling us that we are in regen mode right now. So as that green bar gets bigger, there's more regen. Oh, and that was a very abrupt stop. Didn't come to a full stop, but it did jam the brakes. I think it got confused and thought that car was heading towards us. This bar on the middle here, delineates between brake regeneration and then also acceleration. So it's in the black right now, so we're using energy to propel the car forward. As it dips over into the green, that is a sign that the car is using regen, so it's slowing down. This is probably the tightest curve on this back road. So it took it pretty well, it slowed down a lot, but it did stay within the lane lines. Now up ahead there is a stop sign. There's a bunch of cones on the side of the road because part of the road is sort of collapsed into the river here. And we will, I'm gonna slow us way down to 15, 10 miles an hour and it's probably not gonna give me any kind of warning here. Nope, it's just gonna blow right through it. So I'm gonna apply the brakes. I'm gonna slow us down a little bit because it's a very sharp curve here. There's also another stop sign assume it's not going to warn me about nope okay i'm gonna break another sharp turn here and then there is a stop sign which it's not going to warn me so i'm going to stop i'm going to come back just to see how the car handles this whole mess right here so as you guys can see part of the road has basically collapsed and is fallen off the side of the edge here so we'll see if the car can figure out what to do with this I know the car is not going to stop at the stop sign. So looking up ahead, you know, there's no one on the other side, so we're just going to let the car do its thing and see how it handles this situation. It slows way down, and we're going to take over. So we had to take over on that one. It looked like it was going to hit the cone, so I did pull the steering wheel to the left a little bit, and that. Anytime that you do that, it will automatically disengage autopilot. So overall, I think the car did fairly well today. There were a couple times when I had to intervene, 
there was only one time where it crossed over the yellow line that I had to take over. But as a whole, the autopilot suite is a very functional and user-friendly system. Is it still capable of making mistakes? Yes. So we saw today that it crossed over the line a couple times. Um, that's not ideal in any situation. But with that said, the current build and how it's progressing week by week with the new software updates is pretty remarkable. So we'll see what the future has to bring. Go ahead and check out the link below if you're interested in ordering a Tesla. You can use that to get 1,000 free supercharging miles. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content. I am going to be putting up a new video every week. So with that said, we'll see you next time.